Welcome everyone. So today we'll talk to you about the coin control on Ignition Wallet. So first of all, if you haven't enabled coin control or don't know what coin control is, um, go into settings, options, display, and you can see display coin control features here. Um, check it, apply, OK, and then you can come and send. And then this little square, a rectangle appears. So, um, the regular way of sending coins would simply to put an address here and then put an amount here. But when you do so, um, let's just take this address right here, paste it here, and place this, and we can place a small amount here. So let's say 150 coins. The traditional way would select every input in your wallet. So every all 87 inputs would be selected, including the 3,000 uh, coin input I sent for the masternode, which is not what we want, since if um, the wallet uses that input, then it will break the masternode. And if it breaks the masternode, then you have to restart it all over again. So you need to resend the masternode to your MN01 address, and then you have to use the TX ID and all that. And yeah, it's just a pain. So, what you want to do um, by using coin control is so you know you want to send 150 coins. Um, that means that right here you could select, all right, so I'll select an input of 100 and an input of 67 for a total of 175. And there will be have a change of 25 point whatever to um, another address that will be below this address right here and I'll show you this right now um, so let's send enter the address the uh, password all right now you can press on yes and now you see the um, payment has been done so if you look at receive um, transactions sorry now you see there's a payment to yourself if you go back and send inputs now you see there's only one here that's because the transaction hasn't been um, accepted yet on the blockchain so let's wait a bit and I'll come back when there's one confirmation alright highlight it's been more than one confirmation it's been um, seven now but uh, let's go and send now let's go in inputs and now as you can see there's three other inputs and there's uh, 150 the amount I sent 109 which was the input that was already there and the 25 which was the change that was left of that 175 inputs um, I selected uh, if you forward a bit you'll see it's the same amount and as I said earlier there's a change address that is created below this address right here which means that um, if you send coins to that address it will receive to that address and will increase the amount here but uh, it will also increase the amount on of that address right here which is the main address of the inputs the same way that all these inputs increases uh, this address balance right here um, so that's pretty much it about coin control uh, if you're a staker again um, you could say alright so I want this and this input to combine together so you can use uh, select both of them and then select the after fee amount send it to your address and then you can combine multiple inputs that way um, because the smaller the inputs the longer it will take to stake so once in a while it's always good to go into your inputs and maybe select two or three inputs combine them together so, so that's it for today's video I hope it's helped you understand why and how to use uh, coin control and that you will be able to use it in the future if you ever need it and I'll see you in a future video.